a hazardous eye health has over the years forced students, teachers, leaders and large populations of Kenyans in general to adapt to spectacles, a condition which many have not embraced. In junior school, my eyes were normal. Pauline Wanjiro, a Nairobi County resident, is quite conversant with a compromised vision, having fallen ill and watched her dreams literally fade away for over 16 years. I realized I had an eye issue when I was in Form 2. That was 2003. So I started seeing blur vision and um, also migraines, and I couldn't see the blackboard clearly. After this discovery, Pauline resorted to seeking medical assistance. I was diagnosed to have myopia, that is uh, I short-sightedness. That marked the beginning of her life through spectacles. Back at school, concentration gradually became a challenge, this presenting itself clearly in her deteriorating performance. After every six months, I would just know that uh, my power was wearing out. I realized that my prescription was going higher and higher, from minus two to minus three to minus four to minus five, to a, a point where it stabilized. And uh, now I used to wear a minus uh, negative six for both eyes. At this time, Pauline's life was full of ridicule from friends due to the extent of damage on her eyes. It was double lenses. That's how strong my power was. However, upon visiting the hospital for checkup, Pauline was informed of a better option for her condition, a light at the end of the tunnel. I came at Lance Hospital and my doctor mentioned there is something called uh, LASIK. Despite being skeptical to take the surgery, she couldn't wait to keep off her spectacles. Our main goal is that the patient should see how he sees with the glasses and now without the glasses. After undergoing a number of tests required to determine eligibility, Pauline was scheduled for a LASIK surgery. Thank you. Pauline is quite familiar with this environment, having walked in in April of 2016 as a patient. When the laser is ready, it, uh, the patient has to just look into the light, green light above. After a 20-minute bladeless and painless procedure, as well as a two-week recovery period, Pauline had a new beginning. The TV was on and I could read uh, those uh, wordings and everything. I could see so clearly. I looked at the watch. It was very clear. I couldn't even uh, tell what time it was before my surgery. And I thought, uh, wow, this was amazing. Everything was so clear to me and I was like, this is what a normal person sees without glasses. Dr. Priyanka Rasal, a cornea and refractive surgery specialist, explains exactly what happens during LASIK surgery. The right rays, when they fall on the cornea, they are bent and then they focus on the retina. And the rays, when they are not focusing on the retina, that causes the refractive errors. So what happens in laser, they, it reshapes the cornea. And now the rays of light will focus on the retina and the patient sees clearly after the laser. She goes ahead to state that aside from individuals under the age of 18, the surgery is not advised to a certain group of persons. Even there are certain systemic diseases, certain conditions that we cannot do LASIK for. I mean, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, uh, if some patient is on some medications like corticosteroids, whether he has glaucoma, cataract, it's, it impairs with the normal healing process. 99% of persons who go through LASIK surgery are left with enhanced vision as well as a smile on their face. LASIK is 120, 120,000 for both eyes. It was somehow challenging to get the finances at that point, but it was very pricey for me when I used to think of glasses and everything. But for LASIK, I don't have to spend anything. A compromised eye health has often presented itself as a distraction to not only day-to-day -day livelihood, but also future aspirations of any individual. However, technology now brings not only clear vision, but also future-proof hope to achieve your dreams. Ben Kerera K24, Nairobi.